All right, guys, quick update. I want to show a ambient diffuse specular material editor that is now built into the WO editor. So this makes it easy to make things look prettier. Uh, I have a default new module. Uh, and in this new module, uh, it's almost the default one. I added a uh, uh, an aircraft in here. This looks like a... Uh, KC-135, I also have the Gulf Stream and I have the little moon spinning around. If you go to Show WO Editor and you click on these objects, notice that as I click on, let me scroll down here, is I click on different meshes. So when I hit F3, right, these are all the different meshes. If I click on these meshes, it toggles them. Uh, I can also go and toggle them individually through these checkboxes. I can also say, hey, let's just select all of the meshes. When I select all of the meshes, I can then go in and change, for example, the ambient, diffuse, and specular. So if I set the ambient to black, then the only light source that comes in is from the light, which is uh, up at the, I think it's like 000, 000, 000, 000, 100 looking down. So the top of the airplane will be lit. Then I can change the diffuse color. And so if I change the diffuse color of this airplane to, for example, you know, red or green or whatever in HSV space, I can set that color. And then you can even say, oh, well, let's now change the specular and let's make the specular, you know, uh, we'll say red, right? And then we can also change the sharpness of that specular coefficient. So if I set it to this, and I now spin around the airplane, you can see I have a red specular highlight on a teal diffuse. Similarly, I could, for example, just take, uh, let's select none and I'll just click on this one engine. I could go to this one engine and say, oh, let's make this these uh, engines. And I guess these meshes are shared. So that's why um, they use the same skin. So that's why these guys are sort of uh, all set. But now I've been able to adjust the uh, properties of the aircraft like that. Similarly, if I come down here and I click on the uh, Gulf Stream, uh, this Gulf Stream is only made out of one mesh. So when I hit F3, there's only one property I can change. Uh, if I change that property, you can see it, it works just as the way you would expect it to work. Uh, similarly, if I come back to my 135, I do want to show this, I can select none. I'll click on only the cockpit glass. And I could then, for example, come here and say, oh, let's change the um, ambient to 0.5 and the ambient to 0.5 and the ambient 2.5. And now you can see that uh, the glass is now transparent and I can see into it. All right. And then similarly, you still get that red shine on the glass, which is uh, pretty neat. All right, and then uh, the last thing I'll show is it works for NGLs as well. Those are things that are not loaded from file like this moon. So if I click on the moon right here, I can set its ambient to, let's say black. We'll give it a diffuse color of, uh, I don't know, uh, we say green. And it has a specular highlight um, of whatever, oops, of uh, whatever color we wanna set it to, right? And so you can see that that causes this to change all right so uh this is just a way to when you load your world you can set the wo's to give them nice lighting you can pragmatically do this randomly when you generate different material properties uh and i will add in an additional button right at the end of this it's not here yet but eventually i'll add in another button called like copy to clipboard and it what it will do is if you set the material properties exactly the way you want it that copy to clipboard will be the uh callback that you do when you load a wo so if i go to the load map when you call upon async model loaded it will give you code that you copy paste right into here that will then always set the material properties to the exact configuration that you set here, which means you can make it persist. So the next time you run a module, it will come in, be set with those color properties. All right, so I just wanted to show, hey, it's a neat little uh, tool. You can bring the WO editor up and by sort of expanding this WO material info, you will be able to change things. So I can even go to the grass right here and say, okay, let's, let's uh, 
change this uh, diffuse color and now the grass is red or green or you know blue and so you can do all these fun things to change how you want your world to look all right so now if i make a specular green you can see that there's a specular green reflection on like a purple grass which is a little wild all right so that was all i wanted to show here uh check out the wo material editor and this way we can uh keep things looking pretty uh, i'm also going to add additional properties to let you change the properties of the light that is lighting the world but we'll get to that later all right have a good one